we're talking about the first commandment, which we're called to love God with our whole heart, mind, soul, strength. This is the first and greatest of all commandments. Another aspect of living out the first commandment is the call to adoration and praise. St. Nishal Yola says that we are called, man is called, to praise God, reverence God, serve God, and be, by means of that to save his soul. What is adoration? The call to adoration. There are four bas basic ways that we can address God, communicate with God in prayer. And remember the acronym. ACTS, A-C-T-S, A stands for adoration, C stands for contrition, T stands for thanksgiving, and S stands for supplication. Exactly what is adoration? Father John Hardin, S.J., gives us a succinct definition of what adoration is. He says, only God deserves to be adored because only God is the first cause of the universe from whom everything came and on whose almighty power everything depends. As our Creator, we owe Him the adoration of obedience to His laws. So we adore God and we love God when we obey His commandments. Jesus said, not all those who say, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who obey, those who do the will of my heavenly Father. Father Hardin continues by saying, but God is also to be adored because He is the one for whom we, are, we were made. Once we didn't exist and God brought us into existence, so we should adore Him. He wants to give us Himself finally in eternal happiness in heaven. We should therefore adore Him also with our selfless love, desiring to be united with Him even as He wants to be united with us. So the end of our life should be dying, loving God, and then adoring God for all eternity. Finally, Father Hardin says, if the adoration of obedience means total submission to the almighty will of God, the adoration of love means total generosity in giving ourselves beyond the de demands of justice to the one who loves us with an everlasting love. And Father Hardin concludes by saying, the principal way that we adore God is through prayer and through sacrifice. So let us live out the first commandment by adoring God and manifesting the, that adoration through prayer and through sacrifice.